If you don't have an ideal client profile in your digital agency, you'll most likely fall into the trap of trying to appeal to everyone all of the time and in the process appeal to nobody any of the time because your messaging, your content, and in fact your entire service offering will just be so bland it will get lost in the sea of beige, cream, off-white, and white noise polluting the internet and boring us all to sleep. And you'll know this is true when you hear yourself or your team talking to prospects, or worse, your existing clients about the stuff you do, like web design, SEO, Facebook ads, CRO, email marketing, copy, funnels or whatever it is that you sell. These have all become commodities. However, if you do develop an ideal client profile, it will give you incredible clarity and a laser-like focus that will make growing your digital agency seem like a walk in the park and you'll never have to worry about negotiating on price ever again and it will render your competitors completely irrelevant. Knowing exactly who you serve and then serving them better than anyone else on the planet is the key to market leadership and market leadership is the key to attracting the best clients you've ever had. Clients who are profitable, fun to work with and allow you and your team to do your best work. So what does it take to develop an ideal client profile exactly? Well, I spent a good two and a half hours trying to get ChatGPT and about a dozen other AI tools to write this video for me, and they were all terrible. So I decided to wake up my prefrontal cortex and get my two middle fingers smashing the keyboard to bring you my best thinking and a step-by-step -step process to develop an ideal client profile for your digital agency. I'm even gonna give you a free Canva template to get you started so you have no excuses. As Captain Barnacles from the Octonaut says, Let's do this. Now before we dive in, if at any point you're ready to make more profit from your digital agency without the overwhelm, just click the link in the description and schedule a call to chat with one of our team members. We'll sit down with you one-on-one, -on -one, help you figure out your goals and map out a plan to get there. And then we'll get you access to all the templates, tools and resources you need to implement that plan. And of course, get you plugged into an amazing community of mentors, coaches and other agency owners to hold you accountable and make sure you succeed. Okay. Now I need to address the elephant in the room, your raging FOMO. The number one objection I hear when it comes to designing an ideal client profile is, what if I choose an ideal client and then I find out I don't like them? They have no money, they have unrealistic expectations, we can't actually do what they need us to. They're a massive pain in the ass, they text me all weekend, they never provide the content or approve things on time and then they blame us when their marketing budget goes up in smoke. And all the while, I've missed out landing my actual perfect client because I said no because I was too busy chasing these dickheads who have now ruined my life. Well, first off, don't panic. Just because you choose an ideal client doesn't mean you should say no to a perfectly good prospect who walks in the door with a healthy budget and realistic expectations. And you can establish these parameters with any new prospect by offering a paid discovery session, otherwise known as a digital roadmap, and I made a video about that which you can check out there. Also, if it turns out your ideal client is a freaking nightmare, it's totally okay to change your mind. My ideal client has changed over the years from anyone with a pulse, to accountants, lawyers, and professional service providers, to WordPress freelancers, and is now digital agency owners who want to grow their agency and create abundance for themselves, their family, and their team, and who are preferably not dickheads. So relax, this is not a life sentence, but it is required homework to develop an ideal client profile so you can focus your messaging, marketing, and mastery on becoming the most helpful agency on the planet for your ideal client. So let's talk about the first thing we need to understand, and this is your ideal clients do not all have to operate in the same industry. You hear a lot of advice and opinions from different gurus on the benefits of niching down or niching down as we say in Australia, and a lot of people take this as meaning that I need to go after home contractors or coaches or financial planners. This is just one type of target audience, and it's called a vertical. Vertical just means that your target audience are all in the same industry and the same type of business. And while there are massive benefits to doing this, you get to know their business model, the nuances of their industry, their jargon and lingo and their challenges and the opportunities they have for growth, it's not the only type of target audience. The other types of target audience are demographic and psychographic. A demographic target audience is a group of people that share similar demographic characteristics. Men over the age of 40 on the east coast of the US is an example of a demographic target audience. A psychographic target audience is a group of people that have similar desires and fears, such as marketing managers with great ideas but no digital team to help them implement. These marketing managers could work in a variety of industries or verticals and could look quite different to each other from a demographic point of view, but they all want the same thing and have the same types of frustrations. Now, of course, your target audience could be a combination of a vertical with some demographic and psychographic similarities. The point is, when you hear the advice to pick a niche or develop an ideal client profile, don't think that you have to focus on one vertical like accountants or financial planners or home contractors. The purpose of this exercise is to try and find out what our ideal clients have in common and then craft messaging, marketing, and in fact a service offering that is suited perfectly to them. Regardless of whether your ideal client is in a vertical, demographic, or psychographic audience, you need to understand who these people are, what their life looks like, 
what they want, what problems they have, and what roadblocks are in their way. So let me give you a series of questions you can ask about your ideal client so that you can start to fill out their demographic and psychographic information. And by the way, if you're wondering how you're gonna answer these questions, let me give you a simple tip. Get on the phone with your favorite client ever, and if you don't have any clients yet, then get on the phone with someone who you would like to become your favorite client and ask them these questions. This is exactly how we develop our ideal client profiles here at Agency Mavericks. So let's start with the demographics. What's their name? Where do they live? How do they describe their occupation? How big is their team? Do they manage the budget in their professional role? How is their performance at work assessed? How old are they? What's their marital status? What's their level of education? What do they do when they're not at work? Do they have any hobbies? Are they Apple or Android users? Mac or PC? Do they have a favorite sporting team? Do they have a favorite musical artist? Remember, the point of this exercise is that we're trying to find commonalities between our favorite clients. So interview more than one favorite client, otherwise the exercise is redundant. Let's move on to the psychographic questions. Now, I need to explain some language here so that you understand the answers that we're looking for with these questions. You often hear marketers talk about wants, desires, fears, and frustrations. And here's the way I break down those terms. A desire is something that someone is trying to create or attract in the long term, whereas a want is something they're looking for now. They want their latest campaign to perform really well because they desire a promotion in the future. They want this date to work out and go well because they desire a family with this person in the future. They want to give up smoking now because they desire not to die of emphysema. Fears and frustrations are similar. Frustrations are things that are getting in their way now and fears are things that they're trying to avoid long term. They're frustrated by the Facebook ad manager interface and they fear losing their job if this campaign doesn't work. They're frustrated that no one's swiping right on Tinder because they fear ending up alone. And they're frustrated that they've not been able to quit smoking because they fear dying of emphysema. Now that we have that out of the way, here are some questions you can ask to try and uncover your ideal client's wants, desires, fears and frustrations. Would you rather have more time or more money? What do you spend most of your money on other than housing and food? What's your biggest cause of stress? What keeps you awake at night? Hey, if you had all the money you needed, what would you do with your time? What are your big goals in life? Financial, family, career, travel. What are you most excited about right now in your role at work? What are you most frustrated by right now in your role at work? What would make today a 10 out of 10 for you? What would make tomorrow a two out of 10? Do they have a hobby? Is there any charity or cause that they volunteer for or would like to? Do they have a personal mission statement or manifesto? Now, by no means is this an exhaustive list of all the questions you could ask, but it's a good starting point. Now that you've collected some really meaningful data on your ideal client, let's bring them to life using an ideal client program profile card so that you can share this with your team. Hey, if you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share this with someone you think might find it helpful because all of that really helps us grow the channel and get in front of agency owners like you. Now I'm going to share my screen here and walk you through the client profile card template that we've developed for you in Canva and show you how to fill this in. There will be a link in the description where you can download this template so that you can follow along. And remember, it's okay to have more than one ideal client profile in the business. You might have one ideal client profile for your top tier premium done for you service, and you might have one for your mid-tier done with you training program. One of the first things we do on our ideal client profile card is name the product that this ideal client belongs to. Then we give our ideal client a fictitious name and we find an image that represents what they might look like. We also add their personal motivational quote here. We fill in their demographic information at the bottom, and then on the right side of the card, we fill in their bio, a summary of their motivations, the three biggest goals they have in life, and their big frustrations. And then we describe their personal personality. We try and get our ideal clients to take one of the free personality tests over at Crystal Nose to help us fill in these insights. We add some information around the tech they use in their life and at work, and finally list out some brands that they like. And voila, on one page, we have a good picture of who our ideal client is, where they are, what they want, what they're trying to avoid, and some clues on how to communicate with them. This can really help you with ideas for content, marketing campaigns, the events you attend, the groups you join. You can design your sales process to suit this type of client. You can even redesign or repackage your entire service offering to perfectly fit with what this client actually wants. And I'll give you a clue. They don't want a website or SEO or CRO or Facebook ads or any of that other stuff. They're all just vehicles to help them get what they actually want. And now you have a framework to find out what they want and a template to document it and make it useful. So to 
recap, think about your ideal client and whether or not they belong to a vertical, demographic or psychographic target audience. Then list out their demographic and psychographic characteristics and finally bring them to life on an ideal client profile card using the template we've provided. And as I said, there's a link to that template in the description. Every piece of content you produce now, including blog posts, videos, emails, keynote presentations, webinars, and in fact, your entire business should be built around helping your ideal client get what they want, fulfill their desires, overcome their frustrations, and avoid their fears. Hey, this video is sponsored by High Level because everything about the product and the company is awesome. I used to pay another company over 50 grand a year and it still couldn't do all the things High Level does and the mind boggles. I've been running my multiple seven figure a year business through High Level since 2022 and have been recommending it to all of our agency clients since then. So check out my affiliate link in the description to get started and we'll give you a couple of free snapshots to get you up and running. There's also a link in the description to our agency game plan where you can get your tailored report to tell you exactly what to do next to grow your agency. And hey, if you ever want to talk to a human for a sanity check, just book a call with our team and we'll see if we can get you unstuck. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our new content. And let us know in the comments if you have any questions and we may even make a video answer especially for you. I'm Troy Dean and remember, rubber bands last longer if they're refrigerated. Now, let's get to work.